Hi everyone, Angus Campbell here, Wednesday the 11th of March 2020. So, quickly following on from the last video just published with respect to um, the uh, cylinder head on the A70 Lightning, then um, what I forgot to do at the end of the last video was show you a before and after. Um, so here it, here it is now. So uh, originally the head as bought um, was absolutely filthy, had parts missing etc, but the, uh, the casting was in very good condition and uh, cleaned up very well as you can see. Did find a, a slight hairline crack but we've repaired that. So we're uh, now in a position to uh, take this head and fit the, the valves and springs and all the bits and pieces associated with that. So first of all what we'll do is we'll set up in the uh, garage and just have a look at the uh, condition of uh, the valves and springs that we've taken off from the uh, the two other heads so we'll get cracking then right back in the garage so um a couple of things checked first i've checked the mating face with a straight edge and it's not depressed in the middle uh, not perceptibly and in fact with respect to the way this is cleaned up you can actually see the original uh, skimming marks which is good so that's fine and the second thing that I've done is checked the uh, free length of all the springs the long ones are uh, a tiny bit shorter than uh, full length maybe about by about uh, a millimeter but that's not too bad out of 44 mil uh, and the shorter ones um, haven't uh, compressed at all. Uh, in fact, if anything, they're uh, a little tiny bit longer than published. So I'm going to go with those. So we're going to go ahead now and uh, degrease uh, all the components, but also we'll clean up the uh, the valves on the wire wheel as well. And the other thing that I have checked as well and it's uh, probably a little difficult to see, is that the faces, the valve seat faces, are really in very, very good condition. There's uh, a little tiny bit of pitting on the exhaust side, but it's barely perceptible, and you can see on the inlet side it's very good, with a good contact area. So um, we'll grind them in, but they're not going to take uh, too much, uh, I think, uh, to do that and I'll probably use uh, a low speed drill in uh, both reverse and uh, forward to uh, grind those in when the time comes but initially let's get the uh, the valves cleaned up and check for straightness etc and we'll take it from there okay all the uh, valve gear is uh, cleaned up really well All the um, seat faces actually are pretty good, not really pitted. That's on the exhaust valve, which you expect to be the worst. And they're all straight. Inlet valve's the same, extremely clean. So that's good news. So the next thing what we'll do is individually we'll grind these in and then install them so that we uh, ensure that where we've ground the valve into a particular seat then it uh, that's where it will reside and also what I've done is cleaned up all the bits and pieces to begin installing so we've got the nibs here for the uh, the balance pipe the intake balance pipe and also we've got the union for the uh, rocker box oil feed as well and uh, these are the good parts from uh, the stash that I uh, took from uh, the two cylinder heads, so one or two items such as rocker box, uh, sorry those are carb, carb mounting studs, rocker box studs etc. We've got more than we need so we'll uh, select the best ones of those and there are one or two items that are totally mashed up as well that we're going to throw away. Um, so we'll crack on and uh, I'll do a time lapse of uh, grinding one of the valves and installing that and then we'll uh, get the rest of the head done. Okay, we're all set up, ready to go. So we've got uh, coarse and fine grinding paste 
I think um, I'll probably only use the fine to be honest because the uh, as I say the seats are are very good so we'll see that how that goes so that's the that end there we go uh, we've got the valve spring compressor at the ready we're doing exhaust first, we'll just choose one of those actually that one needs a little bit more cleaning up in the uh, in the center so I'll just do that and then when I come back uh, we'll do a quick uh, time lapse of the uh, first one Okay, so uh, hopefully you'll get the idea. Uh, you can see there I was struggling at one point with getting good suction on the uh, on the valve grinding stick, um, but that was after the fact uh, that I realised that I couldn't get the drill in to uh, to use the drill. Uh, but anyway, they didn't need too much uh, grinding, um, and also the final challenge was that um, my usual valve spring compressor. Uh, wasn't too good on this because of the uh, diameter of uh, one of the ends. It was pulling the springs over to one side, so therefore I couldn't get one of the collets in, which is why I reverted to uh, to an another old faithful. Uh, but anyway, we got there in the end. So um, I'll just carry on now and um, complete the other three. Uh, just quickly adding that um, the other exhaust valve seat was slightly pitted and. Uh, 
wasn't quite getting all the pits out with uh, grinding. So what I've done is uh, use the uh, the valve seat cutter, and that's polished it up nicely. It's only taken a, needed a very very light cut, and now we'll uh, we'll grind that side in so we get a nice uh, sort of rough surface, which increases the uh, the surface area. And then that will be done. And uh, if necessary, we'll do the uh, the inlet as well, just to clean them up. You can see on that inlet one or two little tiny pits there, which will probably come out with grinding okay. But it's just so much quicker to uh, do a couple of turns with the uh, valve seat cutter. That we may as well do that. Okay, there we are, all done. All valves uh, done, um, carb mounting, studs in, oil feed union in, and uh, balancer pipe nibs in. And, uh, all looks good. So uh, one wipe over, and then we're ready, uh, ready to go. I've uh, got um, a few things on order and they should arrive tomorrow, so uh, new uh, outer studs for the uh, cylinder head mounting and also uh, various nuts. It's worth bearing in mind that um, the nuts for the mounting studs are cycle thread, uh, as are the nuts for uh, the carb mounting as well. So the BSF screwing in to the head but they're cycle thread um, for the uh, for the uh, carb securing nuts. Um, and also I've got a uh, set of uh, nuts on order as well for the rocker box mounting. So they're all on the, all the way. Um, so that means then we should be able in a position to uh, to fit the head either tomorrow or certainly in the next couple of days. And uh, there's the bike in position, ready to go. Once we've got that on, obviously we can then get on the carbs, the exhaust, and then finish off in the wiring. And then we're uh, we're almost there. So coming on well and um, hopefully still on track to uh, display this and the other bikes at the Stafford Show, assuming um, that's going to go ahead, uh, depending upon the uh, situation with coronavirus. And the other bike that we're hoping to have there, which uh, looks as though there's a way to go yet, but it actually isn't too bad, is uh, the Fury SS, and at the moment we're um, waiting for the, for the head work to be completed with respect to valve seats, etc., and that's with Ward's Engineering in uh, rugby at the moment but I'm due to touch base with them next week to see how they're getting on with that job. So the the Fury might not be quite complete or a runner by the time we get it to uh, to Stafford but that's all right we've got plenty of other bikes here uh, but certainly the uh, the Lightning should be complete. Okay that's it for now everyone hopefully be back soon to um, crack on with the uh, the Lightning and getting the head on. Um, if the parts don't come tomorrow to do that well, then we'll go back over to uh, the Fury, there's one or two bits we can uh, tidy up on that with respect to the rear sprocket, uh, rear engine mounting plate. Um, so uh, there's plenty we can be getting on with. Okay, that's all for now, everybody. Thanks very much for watching. Any subscriptions, any comments, and uh, see you again soon. Thanks again. Bye bye. Cheers.